Elizabeth, New Jersey public school student dies, investigation launched as to whether flu was cause. Elizabeth, New Jersey, CBS New York, a public school student in Elizabeth, New Jersey has died. And officials on Sunday were investigating whether the flu might have been the cause. Elizabeth schools supped. Olga Hugelmeyer announced in a letter late Sunday that the school district had lost one of its own. No information on the student's age or gender was released. Hugelmeyer's letter said it had been confirmed that the student had been diagnosed with influenza, but it was not known late Sunday whether the flu was the primary contributing factor for the child's death. School district spokesman Pat Politano later said the child did die due to flu-related symptoms. Information from the New Jersey Department of Health was not immediately available. As of January 30, there had been 16 students and faculty members in Elizabeth who had existed. Flu-like symptoms, actually only half the number from last year, school officials said. There has not been an increase in absences due to sickness. The letter reminded parents that the flu has been widespread this winter season and urged everyone to take appropriate precautions. The letter noted that all adults are advised to get an annual flu shot and anyone experiencing signs and symptoms of the flu is advised to see a doctor. Elizabeth schools also have a policy of excluding students with a fever of more than 100 degrees until they have been symptom-free for 48 hours without a fever-reducing medication. And the schools also disinfect all touch point surfaces such as doorknobs, railings and student desks daily, the letter said. Click here for comprehensive flu resources. Two children have been confirmed to have died from the flu in New Jersey this season. Most recently, Nevea Hernandez of North Bergen was the second New Jersey child to die from the flu amid the epidemic this season. Nevea became ill over the weekend and her condition quickly deteriorated. Nevea had gotten a flu shot, had no underlying conditions and still succumbed to the illness. Her family said. According to Louis Zayas, the attorney for the Hernandez family, on Feb. 10 Nevea began suffering headaches and went home from school. Later that evening, after developing a fever, the family took the girl to the hospital, where she was discharged after medical staff reported not seeing any signs of influenza. Zayas claimed. The following day, Nevea's fever returned and hit a temperature of 105 degrees, prompting her parents have her taken by ambulance to another hospital, Zayas said. Doctors there diagnosed her with having the H1N1 strain of the flu and attempted to treat her for fever and four seizures. Within 48 hours, she had died. New Jersey health officials last month said a four-year-old girl in was the state's first flu-related death this season.